Right, hello there and welcome to another devlog. Today we are going to be creating a mobile game inspired by Knife Hit in under 24 hours. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. So Knife Hit is a pretty simple game about throwing knives onto a rotating log. And because I didn't want to directly copy this concept, I started off by trying to find a twist I could use to make my game more unique. The first thing I came up with was to instead of throwing the knife, let it fall down on the log, basically just flipping the game around. Of course this wasn't enough, so the next step was to replace the log with something else. My first thought was a wooden plank which could work well and look pretty good. But now we've just lost our gameplay since there is currently nothing that can move. My first solution to this problem was to flip everything around again and then make it so that the knife moves around. I liked this a lot but there was still another problem present. The game just wasn't fun and way too easy. So I decided to add multiple layers of planks and then make those move as well. This sadly enough got a little too chaotic so I wanted to simplify it just a little bit. And then I thought of the solution. What if we had a rotating square? since that is basically the same thing as the first idea we came up with, but times four, with added risk and difficulty. This is what I ended up going with, something that is still very clearly inspired by Knife Hit, but has some fundamental differences. Alright, so we got our concept, now let's start working. First, I made the art for the game, since I knew that was going to take time, and I didn't want to rush it at the end of the 24 hours. After a little while of trying to make a knife and wooden block myself, I decided to pull up some art from Knife Hit that I could use as a reference. This made the whole process a lot easier since collars aren't my strong suit and now I could just copy them from somewhere else. This made everything look so much better, the colours were vibrant and nice to look at in comparison to my colours that were dark and just plain ugly. So then I put the art we just made into our game. And I'd say it looks pretty good. But of course we don't want our game to be played in a black void. So I made a nice looking background. Again taking some inspiration from Knife Hit. And this is what we ended up with. A nice background that feels really detailed. But it's just a solid colour with a light on it. So then I began working on some gameplay, with of course the most important thing being the ability to throw knives. So after a bit of work, you can now throw some knives around, and when they hit the wooden block, they start moving with it. Overall just a really nice and simple system, although there are still some bugs. Alright, so after tweaking the code a bit, the knives now disappear if they don't hit the block. But of course we don't want them to just disappear, we want it to be a bit more spectacular than that. So what if we throw the knife sideways if it hits another knife? That should make it look better, right? Right, let's see, is my code actually working? Uh, no. No, no it is not. Uh, I don't know why I expected anything else. Um, but no, it is not working. So after fixing the fact that the knives were thrown away even if they hit the block, we now have a pretty solid system. It works like this. If the knives slow down before they hit the block, they are thrown sideways. And because the only way for the knives to slow down is if they hit another object, this is a pretty good way of detecting if one knife hits another. And that right there is a perfect example of writing a rule for your game instead of programming every possibility. And because of this I could completely get rid of like half my code, because this one rule took care of a lot of different things that I previously had separate scripts for. Alright so with the basic gameplay in place, I started working on the juice of the game. I considered adding particles, but I ended up not going with that because I thought it would be too difficult. Instead I tried animating the camera, and it turned out amazing. There are two different animations, a zoom and a shake. The zoom gets played whenever the player hits the block successfully, and the shake gets played whenever the knife hits another knife. And to be honest with having made this, I don't even think we need particles. Alright so before we move on I need to address something. Maybe if you're watching this on your phone you haven't noticed, but the game looks pretty bad at the moment. The frame rate is horrible and it feels really compressed. And I just want to say that this is not how the game looks. My recording software just can't handle me recording at a better quality. And even though that's a shame, we're gonna have to live with it because unless I get a new computer like tomorrow, 
I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. So, yeah. Feel free to download the game to see how it actually looks. I highly recommend it because it looks awesome, but you're not going to be able to see that in the video. So, sorry for that. Now, let's continue on with the video. So the next thing I started working on were pre-arranged formations of knives, which basically means that whenever you move on to the next block, because the current one is full, there will be some random knives already stuck to it, and this will make the gameplay a lot more interesting and harder. I also added a zoom transition between the blocks, and I quite like how it looks. Alright, so with all the gameplay features now done, let's add something that looks really cool and is completely unnecessary. So in Knife Hit, when you've put enough knives on a log, it completely falls apart. And I want to see if I can do something like that too with our game. So after implementing a way for the game to know when the block should fall apart and trying to make it look good, we ended up with this. And to be honest, I quite like it. But there's clearly still a problem. Because when we delete the block to replace it with four different parts, the knives on it also get deleted, which is something we really don't want. So after some bug fixing, I got it to work. Now whenever we destroy a block, everything falls apart and flies everywhere, just the way we want it. Then I made sure that the knife generation system works with this new destroying mechanism, and after having fixed that, the game is pretty much done. There are just three things we still need to do. Add a score system so that the player has a reason to keep playing. Make it so that the player can actually fill the game by adding lives. And last but not least, adding a menu slash fill state. I started off with the simplest of them all, a score system. The only thing I really had to do was display the amount of knives you threw in the block, which is just really easy, and it took me more time to figure out where exactly the text would be than to actually implement it. So then I moved on to the live system. I made a very simple pixel art heart and made it so that you lose one of your five hearts each time you hit a knife or just completely miss the block. I also changed the font of the score by the way, since a pixel art font just fits a lot better in our game. Alright, so then I made sure that you can actually die if you lose all your hearts. And then when you do die, you get shown your score and high score. And this is what it looks like, and I honestly really like it. But currently, once you get there, you are stuck. There is nowhere to go from there. So I added a very simple starting screen to our game, that you return to each time you start up the game, or when you die. Alright, so at this point, the game is pretty much done. I added a saving system that saves your high score, but that's it. There's nothing more for me to add, and I'm honestly really happy with what I've done in just 24 hours. Because remember, even though I didn't mention it during the video, this was all done in a 24 hour period, and as a developer with my skills, I think I can be extremely proud of the result. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm working on an awesome video that you definitely don't want to miss, so make sure to go hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.